Welcome to this educational presentation on how steam engine works. Steam engines played a critical role in the Industrial Revolution and have a fascinating history. Let's dive into the inner workings of this remarkable machine. Our journey begins at the steam engine. The boiler inside the boiler. Water is heated to produce steam. This is typically done by burning coal, wood, or other fuels. The heat generated turns into high pressure steam. So let's fill the steam engine with water, boiler with water. So that I usually try to go about halfway. And then let's also get a fire going. Now let's talk about the steam itself. Steam is a powerful force. What when water turns into tea, into steam, it expands dramatically, creating tremendous pressure. This high pressure steam is, is the driving force of the engine. The next component we'll explore is the cylinder. The cylinder is long, hollow tube with a piston inside. One end of the cylinder is connected to the boiler the, where the steam enters. This whole thing here is the cylinder, mostly just piece. Whole tube. Inside of the cylinder, the high pressure steam pushes against a piston. This force causes the piston to move in one direction. So, to get the piston to move, it will open this valve here. Slowly. Very slowly, the steam engine just started to drop. There we go. The steam engine has not started. I can blow the whistle to say it's too quick. And then you gotta watch the pressure. I like to get the side of the water to go. Now let's follow the motion of the thing to the piston. Notice it connects to a crankshaft. The crankshaft is like an engine back button. So this is the crankshaft right here. The magic happens with the piston motion is transferred to the crankshaft. The crankshaft converts the linear motion of the piston to a rotational motion. Just like a spinning wheel. Open up this water a bit more so we don't get to the front half of the case. This is our way. Water doesn't want to flow. Okay, so. Turn down this next to the surface. Right back. Right here. Put it in the back. I'll do it. Traditional motion can be used to perform mechanical work. For example, it can turn wheels, power generators, and move machinery and factories. After the steam has done its work, it releases into the atmosphere, often through a chimney. This is the exhaust phase of the steam cycle. The engine continues to operate in the pattern cycle. Steam is created in the boiler and pushes the piston in the crankshaft to have the motion to use for work. In conclusion, the steam engine is a really innovation that powers the industrial revolution. Transforming the way that they work is powered in the sense of power of 